All right, today we're jumping into something that's quietly changing the game in artificial intelligence, the surprising power of small language models. You've seen the headlines, right? For the past few years, it's all been about these gigantic, mind-blowing AI models. The ones that can write movie scripts, generate incredible code, and have conversations that feel shockingly human. They've totally captured our imagination, and honestly for good reason. But that's the big question we're looking at today. What if the real key to unlocking AI for everyone, making it truly personal and accessible, isn't about building bigger and bigger models, but actually about getting a whole lot smarter and smaller? Look, those giant models are amazing, no doubt. But here's the catch. They need a staggering amount of computing power. We're talking massive server farms and tons of data. And they usually live up in the cloud, which puts some real-world limits on how and where we can actually use them. And that's exactly where this new approach comes into play. Small language models, or SLMs, are being designed to tackle these exact problems. They're built to be nimble, super efficient, and incredibly useful. So what exactly is an SLM? Well, to put it simply, they're like the streamlined, lightweight cousins of those giant AIs. They're specifically built from the ground up to run really well in places with limited juice. You know, like your smartphone, your laptop, or even little smart home gadgets. And just to give you a sense of scale, the huge models can have hundreds of billions or even trillions of parameters. SLMs, on the other hand, usually fall somewhere in this range. Now, a parameter is basically just a value the model learns from data during training, so it's a good way to measure its complexity. And this quote right here, it really gets to the heart of it. You gotta remember, don't let the name small fool you. A model with a billion parameters is still an incredibly powerful piece of technology. It's just small when you compare it to the absolute titans of the AI world. So how in the world do you actually shrink an AI? Well, there are three main tricks. First up is something called knowledge distillation. Imagine a smaller student model learning directly from a bigger, smarter teacher model. Then you've got pruning. This is literally like trimming a bush. You just snip away the connections in the AI's network that aren't that important. And finally, there's quantization, which is a clever way of reducing the math precision to save a ton of space without losing too much performance. Okay, so this whole shrinking process creates a really interesting set of trade-offs. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of these mighty mini models. And you can see a pretty clear balance here. On the one hand, SLMs have some amazing benefits. They need way less power, they give you faster answers, and this is a big one, they can run right on your device, which is great for privacy. They're also cheaper to run and easier to tweak. But of course, there's a flip side. They usually have a narrower focus, so a model trained for medical advice isn't gonna be great at writing code. They can struggle with super complex reasoning, and they can sometimes be a bit more prone to making mistakes than the big guys. But even with those limitations, the number of real-world uses is just exploding. I mean, this isn't some far-off theoretical tech. It's being used right now in ways that might actually be in your pocket as we speak. Seriously, think about it. Virtual assistants that work perfectly fine without an internet connection. Language translation apps you can use on an airplane. Coding helpers that can find bugs for you on the fly. Or what about educational tools that give students instant, personalized feedback? All of this stuff is being powered by the incredible efficiency of SLMs. And here are some of the current stars of the show. You've got models from all the big players, Meta, Alibaba, Microsoft, and Google. You can see models like Fee3 Mini and Guma are packing billions of parameters into these small, efficient packages that are fine-tuned for things like complex reasoning or writing code. But you know what the most important takeaway is here? It's that this technology isn't locked away in some massive data center anymore. It's actually accessible. You can download and play around with these incredibly powerful tools on your own computer or your own phone, like today. For your phone, an app like PocketPal lets you do exactly that. You can download a bunch of different SLMs, switch between them, and use them completely offline. It's like having your own private AI assistant that totally respects your privacy because nothing ever leaves your device. And for your PC, there's a tool called Alama that makes it unbelievably simple. With just a couple of commands in your terminal, you can download and run models like Phi3 or Llama right there on your own machine. It's perfect for building your own local chatbots or plugging AI into your personal coding projects. So what does all of this really mean? It means the future of AI is shaping up to be less of a single giant cloud service and a lot more like a personal adaptable tool that you actually control. And the customization goes even deeper. Through a process called fine-tuning, 
you can take a general purpose SLM and train it on your own specific data. You could create an expert assistant that's a pro at analyzing legal contracts or a helper that knows every single detail in a technical engineering manual. The possibilities here are practically endless. Ultimately, this is what it's all about. Small language models are a massive step toward democratizing AI. By making these powerful tools efficient enough to run on the devices we already own, they're putting the power and control back into the hands of individuals, developers, and small businesses. And that brings us to the final question. This isn't just about what the big tech companies are going to do with this stuff. It's about what you can do. Now that a truly powerful AI can live right in your pocket, completely offline and totally private, what problems are you going to solve? What are you going to build? What will you create?